Many systems include items such as heat exchangers, boilers, fan coils, cooling coils, filters, chillers and more. Each of these items will have a pressure loss characteristic associated with various flow rates through the item. The component object within Pipeflow Expert allows any item where the flow versus pressure loss characteristic is known to be modelled as part of the system. There are three ways to add a component to a pipe. You can click on the pipe to highlight it and then click the Add Edit Component button from the pipe pane. You can also right click on the pipe and select the Add Edit Component option from the menu. Or you can use the Add Component Pressure Loss Toolbar button. And when you click that, you just click on the pipe that you want to add the component to. All three of these options will bring up the Set Component Pressure Loss window where we can add a component name. We can specify a fixed loss if we know that to be a fixed loss and we know what the value is or we can put in flow versus head values which represent a curve loss. In the model on the screen several components have been used to model the flow rate versus pressure loss characteristics of a boiler and two heat exchangers. So if we click on the boiler icon we can see there's a curve loss specified where the flow in meters per minute versus the meters of fluid pressure loss have been entered into the table. If we click on each of the heat exchangers, we can see they also have curve loss data specified. The component symbol can be changed to represent a valve, heat exchanger, cooling coil, heating coil, fan coil, nozzle, radiator, filter and more. To change the symbol, you just click on the component and in the top right hand side of the component pressure loss screen there is a symbol section that allows you to select from various preset symbols. The symbol chosen does not affect the pressure loss calculations. So we can go ahead and solve this system now and view the results drawing. And then we can hover over a pipe and view the calculated results for that pipe. So in the case of this pipe with the boiler on it, we can see a component loss of about just over 0.8 meters head. And we can then click on the the boiler icon itself and we can look at the, the performance curve for this component and find the point that corresponds to our component loss that's been calculated and see that we would expect a flow of just over 71 litres per minute for this pressure loss and if we look back at the calculated results for the pipe we can see that indeed it has calculated a flow of 71.93 litres per minute.